reduce cart abandonment. Shopping cart abandonment happens for any number of different reasons, and the average abandonment rate for e-com is over 75%. I'm gonna show you how to reduce that number right now. I'm gonna show you eight tips on how to get more of those sales through the checkout process and keep more money in your pocket. Before we continue, be sure and subscribe to the channel to stay up on the latest in e-com news and stick around to the end. I'm gonna share with you a ninth bonus tip as well. Online shopping is different than shopping in the real world for both store owners and customers. And like I said a second ago, it happens for any number of different reasons whether people are only browsing or there are no free shipping options or if shipping is just too expensive or perhaps people are just researching. There are several more reasons. Tip number one is free shipping opportunities. Now, 64% of website uh, store owners say that free shipping is their biggest and best promotional tool that they offer to customers. And I know that you can't always just build in free shipping or offer free shipping, uh, but what you should do when you employ that tactic is build in a certain percentage, if not all of it, into the product cost itself. And if it's uh, a product included in a bundle, uh, those small offsets per item help offset the totality of the whole product. Now, if you're not able to offer free shipping uh, because your prices are so low or something along those lines, you might think of employing one of these three tactics. And the first is scheduled promotions. So think seasonality with respect to this. You want to uh, maybe offer free shipping around Christmas time or some other holiday like Halloween. The second one is to offer um, a threshold, a uh, price threshold. So free shipping on orders over $35 or $50 in total in your cart. And the last one is just a simple shipping discount. Uh, you might offer customers, especially repeat, uh, repeat customers uh, in your email uh, newsletter and emails that you send out or various coupons or offers that you might send out. If you like these videos I make, then let me know by liking this video so more people will get a chance to see it. Tip number two is to ensure cart visibility. Now, it's proven that well-designed cart access helps reduce shopping cart abandonment. Something to keep in mind is to ensure a simple checkout process. So as soon as somebody adds a product to the cart, make it easy for them to go immediately to the checkout process. Also, check out this video that I did previously on my 28 uh, tips on conversion rate improvement. Tip number three is a registration-free process. Online shopping is all about convenience and speed. And the less amount of time that you make your shoppers spend by uh, filling out forms and registering on your website, the greater your conversion rate will be. Now, registrations are great for you, the store owner, and I'm not saying to eliminate them completely because they're, again, great for future marketing campaigns. Just make them an optional step in the process. And tip number four is the shorter, the better. It's similar to tip number three in that you want to reduce the amount of data that you collect in order to process the transaction. You want to just have the critical information in there and not try to collect too much as this turns off the customer. Tip number five is the process indicator bar, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It'll be a bar usually running at the top or uh, along the side of the checkout process to give the customer a visual cue of how long this process is going to take. When you reduce that fear of unknown, in this case, it's how long is it going to take, you eliminate another roadblock and decrease your shopping cart abandonment rate. Quick side story is... 20 years ago, I owned a cafe on the beach in Newport Beach. Uh, and yay, those were fun times. But in the summertime, I used to have stretch of line of customers that went out the front door that were 30, 40 people deep for getting sandwiches, waters, uh, various refreshments and things. And I would notice that the people that would stop and stand at the back of the line would pretty quickly drift off to maybe go up the street and look for another uh, place that had a smaller line. And so... I thought about it and I talked to some friends and we came up with the idea to add a digital clock 
uh, and a sign that said estimated wait time. And then in the digital clock, I would have like three, uh, three minutes and 42 seconds pre-programmed. Now, this was the equivalent to the countdown timer uh, for the sale ending. It never ends. And three minutes and 42 seconds is not exactly uh, spot on for the time that people would have to wait. But more people were willing to wait when that fear of unknown was eliminated. It may have taken them five minutes to get to the front, but by the time they were 80% through the line, they were already pot time committed, uh, if you will. So um, that was my real world brick and mortar version of shopping cart abandonment, and it worked. If you have any other tips or tricks that you can share on how to reduce shopping cart abandonment rates for your e-com store, then let me know by putting a comment down below if you don't know what to say, then just go hashtag cart abandonment. Tip number six is to ensure safe and reliable transactions. And one way to go about this is to add your trust logos or trust seals directly to the shopping cart page and checkout pages. Um, you could check out a video that I did. It should be a card in the top here on trust badges for e -com, and I have a secret trick that I revealed at the end of that video. But at the end of the day, you want to use the same exact trust logos that you're using on your product page, on your shopping cart, and on your checkout page, but just do them in black and white. This reinforces the same logos that they saw initially, but the black and white version, it takes a little bit of their focus off of it and more on the add to cart or move forward button, uh, checkout button um, that you want. A study revealed that up to 60% of consumers leave their shopping cart because the trust seals and trust logos are missing from the cart and the checkout pages. Tip number seven is to offer various payment methods uh, at checkout. And this goes right back to tip number three and four about speeding up uh, the checkout process for your customers. So this one kind of rolls it all in together. Um, I offer on my Shopify stores, I offer three different payment options. I offer PayPal, I offer Amazon and I offer the built-in gateway through Stripe uh, that Shopify uses. And what this does is most shoppers already have pre-existing uh, wallets online like PayPal with their credit card and shipping information all built in. Same thing with Amazon. So when they go through your process, it just speeds it up. Uh, they don't have to type in all that information. They just click on their payment processors that they're affiliated with and go right through the process. This also has an increased inherent trust factor that helps you reduce abandoned carts. Tip number eight is to use remarketing. Now, I know that this isn't uh, directly a shopping cart abandonment uh, reduction technique, but the amount of ROI that remarketing brings is an astronomically high. And it can bring those customers that have abandoned their shopping carts or checkout pages right back to uh, your store and your offer and perhaps offer them a little bit better of a deal to go ahead and conclude the sale. Now, two, uh, sh uh, two remarketing platforms that I use all the time are obviously uh, Google Ads uh, is very robust uh, and very native and also AdRoll. AdRoll is a very easy to use platform. Um, so I would suggest going with either of those two. I'm going to be uh, producing a video on uh, how to do or how to set up this remarketing campaign. It'll be in a card up here above uh, when I do. But for now, go ahead and watch my video on my pre-launch survival guide for e-commerce startups. And now my quick bonus tip here at the end, uh, really just kind of wanted to point you to one of the apps that I use in either my WooCommerce store or a Shopify store. Um, and that is uh, Abandoned Cart Recovery app. For Shopify, it's called Abandoned Cart Recovery. And I will have a link to that in the description below. For WooCommerce, it's called Abandoned Cart Recovery Pro for WooCommerce. And I will also have a link in the description below for it. Okay, as always, I appreciate you watching this video all the way to the end. And I hope that these tips help you reduce your shopping cart abandonment rate in your e-com store so that you end up making more money. Don't forget to download my free ebook on how I launch great products on Amazon. It is literally a step-by-step -step guide, 30 page guide, my seven step framework, download it. It's free and in the description below. Be sure and subscribe to the channel to stay up on the latest in e-com and be sure and like this video so that other people get a chance to see it. 
And now watch this video. Go ahead and watch this video. Near, 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 near.